At $13 billion, the USS Gerald Ford supercarrier is the most expensive aircraft carrier ever built. The leader of the largest, heaviest, most powerful aircraft carrier class in history, it is now ready for deployment to project the might of the United States military across the globe and to take on any adversary that might consider themselves near peer, including aircraft carriers from Russia and China. And so, no one ever dares. This has been the case of total dominance for the USS Ford over the last decade, until now, as China has just launched a new aircraft carrier that's certain to be more lethal and more advanced than any aircraft carrier that isn't of the US. Here, we find out if the American supercarrier now has a Chinese contender, and what exactly is this new aircraft carrier that China has just launched. On June 17, 2022, China launched its third aircraft carrier, the Type 003 Fujian, named after the Fujian province in China. It is the country's third and by far the most powerful, succeeding Type 001 Liaoning acquired from Ukraine as an incomplete post-Soviet ship, and the homegrown Type 002 Shandong that was modeled after the Liaoning. The new Fujian comes with a new design similar to that of the American supercarrier. For one, doing away with the outdated assisted takeoff ramps of its predecessors and replacing them with more superior launching gears, similar in many ways to what can be seen on the USS Ford. The USS Ford was already the most advanced carrier in the world before it was completed. To build it, the US Navy had to stop work on over 9,000 other projects. At a displacement of 100,000 tons, the carrier displaces twice more than Russia's Admiral Kuznetsov and is three times as valuable. USS Ford also features 23 new technologies as opposed to the Navy's usual two. And five of these technologies are largely responsible for the carrier's lethality, dominance, and the title, supercarrier. Five, nuclear power. Two Bechtel A1B nuclear reactors the most cutting-edge engines created for use on water, powered the USS Gerald Ford. As a result, the carrier would only need to be refueled once over its entire 50-year operational life, as these engines make use of the everlasting nature of nuclear energy. This means USS Ford can run for 25 years at a time without refueling. And with a peak speed of around 30 knots, the supercarrier can access every country on the planet just in time to pay friendly visits to allies and wreak havoc on enemies. 4. AI and Automation The USS Ford is as intelligent as they come, with a balance of brute force and intelligence capabilities. It achieves this by exploiting artificial intelligence, particularly in the form of unmanned vehicles, which are, on their own, making a name for themselves. The automation of the carrier itself also comes into play, allowing for fewer crew members than expected for a ship this huge. And with less personnel on board comes more free space in the ship's hull to hold more systems, weapons, and life enhancement features, such as ergonomic spaces and gymnasiums, which ultimately results in a better quality of life for the 4,500 crew members. An important factor, seeing as a crew can only be as agile as the crew that keeps her oiled up and ready for action. Three. New Sensors and Processing Systems USS Ford features the latest sensors, processors, and weapons needed on an aircraft carrier to maintain that balance of intelligence and lethality. Unlike virtually every other aircraft carrier in the world, the USS Ford features a single system for both horizon and volume search in the form of the AN-SBY-3 multifunction radar for X and S-band active electronically scanned array. It remains the most advanced radar system from the U.S., with enough versatility to handle surveillance, air traffic control, missile communications, and spot targets from miles away. 2. American Fighter Jets and UAVs Up to 75 fighter jets and unmanned aerial vehicles, or UAVs, can call the USS Ford home at a time, including the Navy's favorite child, the fifth-generation F-35C Lightning II Joint Strike Fighter, whose development program remains the most expensive weapons development program of the Pentagon to date, with a reported cost of $400 billion. The result of such an expensive program is a fighter that really can do it all, 
close air support, vertical takeoff and landing, and everything in between, cementing it as the modern go-to fighter for the Navy and every other department of the military. That is, until the sixth generation FAXX fighter takes center stage, of course. And for when that happens, the USS Ford is already equipped with the technologies required to host, launch, and arrest it. 1. Advanced Launch and Arrest Systems An electromagnetic launch system to catapult every kind of manned and unmanned aircraft to the sky in the shortest possible distance, and an arresting gear that saves them from becoming sea divers by grinding them to a sharp halt. The edge of these systems that offer 4,100 takeoffs and 16,500 arrests before faults. Over short takeoff ramps and even older steam-powered launch systems are increased sorties, meaning more aircraft could take off from this carrier and land on it in the shortest possible time than any aircraft carrier without these systems. And although China draws from this, the launch and arrest systems on the USS Ford are the most advanced, and they, combined with other factors mentioned, play a role in why no competitor can beat USS Ford. But there's more. The United States aircraft carrier dominance comes firstly from the due diligence of building the most advanced aircraft carriers ever, and secondly, the competition not being much of a competition at all. In fact, 25% of the world's aircraft carriers belong to the US, and their total deck space is more than double that of all other nations combined. And some of these other nations are NATO allies who aren't exactly looking to surpass the U.S. in military might, leaving only Russia and China as possible competition, although neither really is, as the U.S. has 15 aircraft carriers and China, who has more than Russia, by the way, has only just launched their third, the Type 003 Fujian. The Fujian is still new, and like any flagship military equipment, not much information has been released about it but there's enough to know just what the aircraft carrier could offer. Like the American supercarrier, it features electromagnetic launch systems, but only has three as opposed to the US's four. The Fujian uses conventional propulsion, inferior to the American nuclear propulsion that could keep the Ford running for decades. The Fujian has a displacement of 80,000 tons, making it 20% lighter than the Ford's 100,000 tons. And with smaller size comes a smaller air wing although the exact number of supported aircraft is uncertain at this time. However, it is certain that there are many enough to give the Chinese Navy options to execute missions. And with their electromagnetic launch systems active, virtually all kinds of aircraft can take off from the Fujian. And although the aircraft carrier is inferior to the USS Ford in almost every way, it marks a major milestone in the indigenous aircraft carrier building capacity of China and would likely welcome siblings that pose more of a threat to the American fleet, as at this point, only China seems to be able to do that. Russia, on the other hand, has been underwhelming in this department. And to say they have fewer aircraft carriers than China could easily imply that they have two. But no, they have only one, and that one is over 40 years old, meaning it's closer to World War II than it is to us today. Meet the Russian Admiral Kuznetsov, Prior to the launch of China's Fujian, Admiral Kuznetsov was the largest conventionally powered aircraft carrier in the world. It has a displacement of 58,000 tons, 28% less than the Fujian, and a staggering 55% less than the USS Ford. The Russian carrier can carry up to 30 to 40 aircraft at a time. In other words, half the capacity of the American supercarrier. The Admiral Kuznetsov, like China's older aircraft carriers, lacks catapult launch systems, and only uses an extra-large ramp to set aircraft up for ski jumps, limiting the types of aircraft that can launch from its deck. Waylaid by malfunctions and maintenance issues, the Admiral Kuznetsov is now being upgraded to keep up with the times. But the upgrades have also been waylaid by malfunctions and maintenance issues, from a 70-ton crane crash to a fire outbreak and then spilling 300 tons of oil into the ocean. For now, it's uncertain if or when the Admiral Kuznetsov will return to sea, although fishes in the sea would likely be hoping that day never comes. It is interesting to note that China's first aircraft carrier, the Soviet-era Liaoning, bought from Ukraine, is a sibling to Russia's Admiral Kuznetsov, only bringing to light how quickly and how well China has overtaken Russia in the aircraft carrier space. 
but still not close to the US. For now, that still seems to be an impossible task for anyone thanks to the American supercarriers. However, one task that is possible is you subscribing to this channel and giving this video a like. So, kindly do so now. It helps the channel grow. That would be all for now. Thanks for watching.